Nikon recently announced a new camera. What's it going to be? Stay tuned. I guess Nikon felt the need to upgrade one of their current compact cameras. And I'm referring to the Nikon 1 J1. And they released it with a sequel, the J2. And like most sequels, things, doesn't, things don't change. And it's pretty apparent with this that Nikon really didn't change much. Yeah, I am kind of shocked on why they released this. It's literally just like a pfft. Like, just another camera to get by until something better comes out. But with Canon releasing their mirrorless uh, system camera, the EOS M, I guess they felt the need to bring their name back up. I mean, it's working, but uh, no matter what I specs I give you for this thing, it's going to match the J1. So, if you have the J1, just keep it. There's absolutely no point uh, in picking up the J2. Wait till something better or an actual upgrade comes out. Uh... It's still same 10 megapixels, 2.7 times crop, same shutter speeds, uh, 30 seconds to 16 thousandths of a second, same 3-inch screen, uh, does, still does 1080p video. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's exactly the same, but the only thing different now, this is huge, is it comes in two different colors. It is now in red and orange, just as you see here. That's exciting, right? I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, the only big things are different, and they stress two huge differences. Um, one mini one is the um, is their LC, uh, their screen on the back. Instead of it being four hundred sixty thousand dots, it's nine hundred twenty one thousand six hundred dots. Good for that. Good. <laughs> uh, the second, the actual first biggest thing I'm gonna say is their new creative mode. Let me show you the picture, and it's the dial on the back, and as I say, it's their creative mode. And in that, it does all the stuff and junk you shouldn't really be doing anyway. They added a useless feature uh, like selective color, motion snapshot, HDR. Blah. If that's your thing, hey, good for you. But you could do all that in post and save the money. Get to the money in a second. Uh, another quick thing that they did is they made the uh, they made a 10 frames per second and a burst rate. Uh, cool, I guess. I, I don't know. I <sighs> such a pointless camera to update. Uh, the J1 uh, was was perfect. This is just a gimmick uh, till they pass time. As I said, there's not much of a difference, and it's kind of lame. But uh, it's 549.99. Uh, and it's going to be released September 6th. So I guess you're so excited like I am. Yeah. Uh, and also they announced a new lens. But this would also work on the J1. It's the 11 to uh, 27.5. It's a 3.5 to 5.6 variable aperture. Basically, if you zoom in, you're going to lose light, etc., etc. And a big thing, it weighs 4 grams more. So not as compact, I guess. That's it. That's your preview. My advice, don't get the thing. There's absolutely no point if you're going to get uh, one of the Nikons like this, one of the compact, etc. Just go for the J1. Um, the big thing they have about this, though, is that it is $100 cheaper than from when the J1 was announced. As I said, it's $549.99. It comes in different colors. What an upgrade. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Please tell me what you think. I'm curious if you're you're dying for this camera or not, because I sure am not. That's it, guys. Take it easy. Like the video. Subscribe somewhere. That's it. Have a good one.